Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing how one of my artists ended up making $10,000 in three hours. Yep, you heard me correctly. Three hours from a print release, which is phenomenal. That artist is Caitlin Snellen. So huge congrats to Caitlin on the success. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing exactly how she did it. If you're new here, basically, my name is Jeroy Henry. I'm the founder of Artist Rise. And over the past few years, it's been my goal to just help as many artists as possible make consistent sales using social media. So with that being said, hopefully I could continue on that goal by providing you some amazing value in this video today. With that being said, hopefully you subscribe. And I don't want to waste too much time, so we're going to jump straight into the video. Also, if you're new here. This won't be some structured video. I kind of just talk in Babylon about stuff that worked for my clients. So just have a pen and paper and be ready to take notes and no actual structure or order. <laughs> With that being said, let's get into it. So first off, to give you a little background on Caitlin, Caitlin been working with me for about three years now, which is a pretty long time because she's one of the first artists I began working with. In those three years, Caitlin went from making maybe 100, 200 bucks a month to recently crossing $20,000 months and most recently having not just a $10,000 day, but a $10,000 span over three hours, which is phenomenal. So how did she go from making little sales to having print releases and making $10,000 in just a few hours? More importantly, without even having a huge following, Caitlin have about 1,600 followers on Instagram. Here's the thing. First thing first, you have to focus on the long-term success. A lot of artists just starting out want to do a print release. But in order to do a print release, you must have demand. If you don't have demand with your art, it'll be really hard to sell prints during a print release. So what's demand? Demand means the amount of people who's willing to purchase your artwork in the moment as we speak. So right now, in order to do a print release, let's just say you do a print release of 50 prints. You need to have at least, at least 250 people who's willing to buy your artwork in the moment right now. You see, a lot of artists wanna do print releases because it seems cool, right? Because here's the rational thinking behind a print release. If I could get 20 people to purchase my prints at a hundred bucks each i will make two thousand bucks i'm happy right but in reality do you have 20 people lined up to purchase your prints that's the real question more importantly what i'm gonna share with you today is how to actually build that list of 20 people or in caitlin's case a hundred people at a hundred bucks each to buy your prints so here's what you want to do. First thing first, you need to put a system in place to get in front of as many people as possible. When I say get in front of as many people as possible, this could be on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever you may operate. And getting in front of them just means getting them aware of you. This don't necessarily mean them purchasing your work. For example, if someone on your Instagram say, I love your work, I can't afford it right now, but it's beautiful, that's fine. That's someone that you're in front of. If you get your art in front of enough of those people, if those people could become aware of you as an artist, the more people, the better. The more people, the easier it is to style a print release. So here's what happened with Caitlin. When she first started working with me, I taught her how to get in front of a ton of people using Facebook and Instagram. Then she applied that to Twitter. Over the time, in that three year time span, Kaylin probably had over 2,000 conversations with potential buyers. This doesn't mean that Caitlin sold 2,000 artworks. She probably sold 100, right? But what happened was all of those people she was in conversation with, she began to build relationships with those people. And those relationships go a long way. So here's the thing. What you want to do is you want to get into relationship building mode understanding that in a long run this will pay off later so here's how you build relationships whether someone say they want to purchase they love your work is it for sale is beautiful you're talented no matter what the case may be you want to have a short conversation with them a genuine conversation so talk about what's important in that artwork to them talk about why they may love the artwork talk about you guys values that you have in common and what this is going to do this is going to help them become more familiar with you your artwork and your message as an artist and because of these things once they're familiar they would then begin to build that relationship with you 
once that relationship is built, you're golden. So what you want to do is you want to have as many conversations as possible. To start, if you don't have that big of a following or you don't know how to have these conversations or even get to these conversations, just anyone that like your post, comment on your post, anything whatsoever, send them a message. Just tell them thank you. Just say, hey, Bob, I noticed you like my post on Instagram. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. Why did you like the post? You know, I just want more information about those who potentially interested in my artwork. That's going to spark a conversation. If you can have a ton of conversations, consider that your buyer's list, right? This is a list of potential buyers, and you want to take note of those people. What happened with Caitlin is that over the years, she was having so many conversations. Keep in mind, we're talking about three years here, right? She was having so many conversations with people, and a lot of them did not purchase. But what happened was she ended up building relationships with those people over time. For example, let's say in a typical week, Caitlin have 25 conversations. Now, if she had 25 conversations in a week, that's 100 conversations in a month. If she had 100 conversations in a month over a year, that's 1,200 conversations, right? Now, over three years, that's 3,600 conversations. Now, from 3,600 conversations, let's just say half of them she built genuine relationships with. So half of 3,600 is, you could do the math on that. Let's, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna just say 1,700. So with that being 1,700 relationships built, imagine you doing a print release and letting 1,700 people know that you only have 100 prints available. Boom. It's that simple. When you tell 1,700 people that there's only 100 available, you will sell 100 prints. And the reason you're gonna sell those 100 prints is because you built what we talked about in the very beginning of this training here. We talked about demand. You see, you built demand. There's demand for the work. And because of demand, that allows something that's even better, which is urgency and scarcity. Which means that if there are 1,700 people who will potentially, cause, because ev not everyone is going to buy the art. That's just what it is. But you see, if I have 1,700 people who's willing to buy the work, but there's only 100 art pieces available, most likely even the ones who are probably were not willing to buy the artwork will even still buy because the fear of missing out, right? So FOMO, people are willing to purchase because they don't want to miss out on the opportunity. And this is urgency and scarcity. Urgency means that they feel the need to buy in the moment. And scarcity just means that there's not a lot as far as quantity. So I want to grab it while there's still a few left. And this is what allowed Caitlin to sell literally 100 prints in three hours. But in reality, did it really take three hours? Maybe it took three years. But overall, it was worth it all in the end. So the biggest takeaway from this training here is that if you're an artist, right, which you should be if you're watching this video, what you need to do, start keeping track of everyone you talk to, every single person, whether they purchase, whether they say they don't have the money to purchase, whether it's just a general conversation. Keep track of all of those people. And if you keep track of all of these people, when the time come around a year later, two years later, they're gonna purchase your work. And you may be thinking, draw it, but that's two years later. The two years are gonna pass either way. So you might as well build your future and your clientele like galleries do. So when that two year time do come up, you're well prepared. And now you're doing a print release four times out the year. And every time you do it, you make 10,000 bucks, kind of like Caitlin, because that's an additional $40,000 in sales with ease. Not to mention the people that's going to come back and purchase every single day just because they love your work, whether it's a print release or not. And this is how you build a long-term career. You make 10,000 a day from a print release and you consistently hit $20,000 months. It's because you start off small and it's like a snowball effect. It just begins to build and build and build and build and build over time. To now, you have a list of buyers that's over a thousand people long. This is the stuff no one is willing to share with you, but I'm sharing with you here because you're my people. With that being said, I hope you subscribe and with that also being said, leave a like, a comment, and hopefully I'm seeing you on the next video. Talk soon. Peace.